Welcome to St. Bernard Acres. Welcome to my backyard in Wheeling, because we're not at St. Bernard Acres. But I want to try an experiment No, here. that is a St. Bernard bar barking in the background. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so excuse the background noise. You'll hear the chickens and the St. Bernards. To let you know we are the St. Bernard Acres. Um, what I want to try is an experiment with... I wanted to. I tried it the other day when I did the uh, video comparing the different fire starters, and I tried to put one of my fire starters in a fancy piece can. I poked some holes in the side, and if you paid attention in that video, you would have seen that it never showed the result because every time I put the pot on it, the flame went out. So my theory is, and what I'd like to be able to try is, if you're out in the on the trail and it's cold and you pick a spot for the night you have to build a fire it takes a while to get a fire going and the cold going enough to uh, cook on so what I was wondering is can I do an, enough with a fire starter to get a cup of water hot enough to make hot chocolate or make a bowl of oatmeal or something to warm you up while you're trying to get your fire going why you got things happening on a cold night. Okay, so what I needed to see uh, was if there was, a, it didn't work with the can. So I went to work, I got to thinking about these machines that we tore apart, and they had these uh, basically fan covers. These were fans, coolers for the, the motors in the machines. And I thought, I wonder if I can fashion one of those into something, like a little backpack stove. <laughs> This is pop metal, it's not plastic. Don't use the plastic kind, obviously. But this is a cheap metal. But I have this grate on it. So I'm wondering if I can put one of my fire starters, light it, put it over that, set my pot on it, and if the flame will last long enough or if it will burn hot enough, that I can make me a cup of hot chocolate while I'm trying to get my big fire going. So this is my experiment. Let's see what happens. I need to dig a little bit in there, get some of them fibers out. Now I've showed enough time starting this with my fire starter, but I need a bigger ferro rod. I've got a little ferro rod. I need somebody to send me a big ferro. <laughs> uh, so I just use my neck knife here to like my little knife. I love this thing. But I'm just going to use, for today's purposes, a lighter. Because that will be quicker. See how quick that was? So once that takes off, Now the bottom of my cup is going to get full of soot, that's the bad thing, but that can be washed off. Get a cup of water in there. See if it will burn with my grate over it. And with a pot on top of it. And let's see what happens. Like I said, the idea is to get this going while you're working on your big fire, but see if you can have a cup of coffee or a cup of hot chocolate or a cup of oatmeal to warm you up while you're working on your big fire. This should be done, if it works, in about five minutes. Get little bubbles at the bottom, I think. Right? Yeah. This might actually work. I bet it's hot enough to make hot chocolate. Even if it doesn't boil. 
Because I don't think it'll burn long enough to bring it to a boil and cook something. But, like I said, you can make coffee, you can make hot chocolate, make some tea. Melt some snow. Wow, well, look at how black the pot turned. Well, well <laughs> That's why you have dish soap. Wow, now it's really going. does start boiling. You're checking on the shovel, silly. Do what? She was checking out the shovel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to see if she could use it while you go while you're gone. Yeah, yeah it's your sure black in that pot. It's gonna be fun to clean. It'll be interesting to see if it comes clean. Well, because it's just soot. Well, Gladys found a worm. Yeah? Yes, she did. All right. We're playing with the chickens while we're out here doing this. Okay, we're eight minutes into it. Still burning. calling this a success because it is plenty hot enough. It's steaming the water. Keep going. Keep going. I can't believe those dogs. The whole time. Okay, my fire starter is about out. I'm not going to reach and touch that water. No, that's You see that's the steam hot. coming off of it? Yeah, that's hot. Yeah. Heck yeah. Alright, my fire starter is out, and that one burned for, uh, let's see, just under 10 minutes outside here, and got the water plenty hot enough to make hot chocolate. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's, that's a, needed. yeah. Now we can still warm ourselves up while we're working on getting our big fire going. So, well, I'll drink that hot chocolate while you get the fi other fire up. going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> while well, I get the fire going? That's right. Oh, I see how you are. All right, that worked. I'll be darned. How cool is that? All right, so I hope you all enjoyed my experiment. We, uh, uh, I like doing this kind of stuff, too. This is Joe and my camera person, Gail. From St. Bernard Acres. And Maggie and Misha Barkin. And Maggie and Misha, who will not shut up. And the chickens. I think Charlie's out here somewhere. Charlie's there. over there, too. Yep. 
Uh, we're out. <laughs>